Are blogs dead? I don't read blogs anymore. I watch videos. I watch live streams. I listen to podcasts. I I can't tell you the last time that I opened my feed reader. Is I that think, a, is that something we need to talk about? I think the type of content that we're creating evolves over time as well. I think there was a point where Google Reader was everybody's first thing they opened in the morning and now it's Twitter, you know, and now it's Instagram and now it's whatever social media platform, uh, professional or otherwise, that people are talking about. I, I don't, I can't slow down enough for podcasts. Yeah. And I, I, I'm trying to find the words for that. Every podcast that I listen to, I have to end up putting it on 2x because my challenge is I can read so much faster than you can talk. And if at the end of the day, what I want from a podcast or a video or a blog is to consume content that I can then internalize and use somewhere else, my number one goal is efficiency and how quickly I can do that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, spending 35 seconds before you actually get into the content in a YouTube video for you to tell me to, you know, like this video and smash that subscribe button. It drives me crazy. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know that the, the, the blog content form is dead. There's still some folks out there who are putting out amazing content that is searchable, that is indexable, that I can open up a, a, a Google search and put in the error code that I'm seeing and I can pull direct content back, which I'm never going to be able to do with a YouTube video, which I'm never going to be able to do with a podcast. So I don't think that it's dead. I think that if I am sharing a an opinion, if I'm sharing with a community, if I'm sharing extemporaneously like this, a blog, blog post just doesn't work. Yeah. Uh, and good. I like that there are other ways for us to be able to put that together. I like that there are other ways, other outlets for us to be able to uh, to be able to do that. And we've now ventured into the being able to do it live. We don't have to video this and process this and edit it. We can throw it right directly on Twitch and say anybody who wants to come have this conversation uh, can have this conversation. So I don't yeah. I don't think they're dead. I think that it used to be the only content type for every communication. And now it's a content type that is excellent for a very specific type of communication. And yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. That's okay. Yeah, there's there's almost like a direct uh, class or a direct type of content that you could identify with each delivery medium, yeah. you know? And, and some people are really good at being able to blur those, right? If I had, if I ran into an error message inside a VMware product and I escalated it through support and I got an answer for it and I got an, uh, a way to fix it and I implemented that fix, I'm not gonna make a YouTube video telling people how, how that happened. Like to me, that seems, that seems like I'm taking really good content that could help other people and I'm putting it in a format that limits how it gets consumed. And that's, again, 100% my opinion because there are tons of people out there making YouTube videos on how to, put together, you know, the most, how to install software. Listen, listen, the only reason we're here today live is because of YouTube. Right, right. <laughs> uh, uh, I've spent the last three years on YouTube learning how to do this shit. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there are, I would totally take that and make a YouTube video out of it. Um, I think there's a new, there's a new generation coming into technology. They definitely, as you said, have their preferences around Instagram, around short form content. Sure. But I also sure. think that the places that have been typically long form content are like or short form content I should say are now becoming more apropos to long form stuff like yeah, live yeah, streaming yeah. the recording of a podcast instead of just listening to audio yeah. now you can see the hosts and th so yeah. I think and, all of that's evolving and it's gone one way and the other right At, there was a time where every marketing team was like I need a 45 second bit right yeah. I want if it's more than 4 minutes long nobody's going to pay attention to it and so YouTube was littered with these 45 second bits that had a call to action at the end that made you go to the documentation or made you go to the website. And, and well, but for a while there, like that was the algorithm. That was what everybody wanted. And so at some point people realized if you're going to commit to video as the form that you want to share this in, the production values need to be there. And if it needs to be a four part series, make it be a four part series. We see it in documentaries. 
where it used to be the behind the musics had to fit into an hour, even if the band had been around for 35 years. And now we see you know, Michael Jordan doing a 10 hour documentary about one season of basketball. And I'm, I'm here for it. Like yeah. if I'm going to commit to a video series, I want you to do it. Like I want you yeah. to, to, to put everything out there because four minutes doesn't do me any good. I could have read that in 30 seconds. Sure. Right. So I, it's, I think that will constantly change. There will be a point where the type of stuff that we're sharing fits in blogs really well. And we'll all jump back into that medium. My, my goal is just to not sit, not stay so tied to something that I can't be flexible when I have a new type of content to share, or I have a new audience to share it with or anything like that. Like I don't want one size fits all. Sure. So I'm going to challenge you on that, though. And I'm going to say I can't read blogs while I'm driving. I can't ble- read blogs while I'm running. I can't yeah. read blogs while I'm riding the riding mower. I, I'm uh, there are things that I can't do, but, sure. but I can listen to podcasts. I can kind of listen slash half watch videos. I, there's all kinds of ways to consume all different kinds of content. And I think the takeaway here is that you you said it a minute ago the, at, at the time blogging was it. Like that was, and then it became micro blogging with tweeting and things like uh, Tumblr and things like that. And now we've gotten to this point where technology has become so ubiquitous that anybody with a phone, with a decent smartphone can open the Twitch app and hit go live Yep. and say what they want to say. And I don't even think we're saying, I don't even think we're saying different things because if you're in the car, you're not looking up an error code. No. That's a good you're, point. If Fair. you're in the car, you're not <laughs> looking for a walkthrough of how to do an in-place upgrade of the vCenter appliance. Sure. Right? And those exactly. are things that fit so well into that blogging format. Right? If I want to hear you talk about an announcement that happened at a keynote, I don't want it in a blog form. There's nothing in there that I need to search or index. No. I would rather watch you and a group of people who... I trust your expertise, have the discussion around here's what was talked about and here's what it means so that I can use that to go figure out what I want to do next. Again, I, I totally agree with you. They're going if if this is something I expect you or is reasonable for you to consume while on a riding lawnmower, putting in a blog is probably a bad idea. Right. If That's it's something point. that if it's something that I expect you to be able to go search, even doing it live and posting the video on demand probably isn't as useful as building a video so that you can do it while watching me do it on the screen, right? So I I think that you're absolutely right how it gets consumed, where it gets consumed, and the type of content it is. I'm just excited we have so many different ways to be able to share things at this point rather than everything having to be a 2,500-word blog. Yeah, and 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 for anybody watching that, you know, Jeremiah and I have been doing this for a long time. Pick a pick a, pick a spot. <laughs> like, don't feel like you have to shotgun it to every single place that's out there. Just pick one. Yeah, just pick one. People will come find you. People will follow you.